Welcome again, Dr. M here. We're going to talk about an anti-Makovnikov addition reaction across the double bond of the alkene. Usually, for anti-Makovnikov additions, you should see a peroxide. That's a huge clue. That's a huge, enormous clue that I just gave you for free right there. Whenever you see a peroxide, expect anti-Makovnikov addition. That means you're not following the Markovnikov rule where the hydrogen of the HX would have bonded to the carbon atom that had the greatest number of hydrogen atoms. In this case, in terms of Markovnikov addition, the hydrogen of the HX for these reaction conditions, HX, X is a halogen, a Cl, a bromide, an iodide, will be bonded to the carbon that has the least number of hydrogen atoms. In other words, the hydrogen of the HX will eventually bond to the carbon that's most substituted. That's against Makovnikov rule, which will have put it on the carbon sp that would have put it on the sp2 carbon of the alkene that's least substituted, which would have been here. So enter Makovnikov, the H ends up here. To revisit the HX addition following Makovnikov rule, check the link below this video in the description area so generally this H ends up where the carbon is more substituted whenever you have HX added in presence of a peroxide uh, the R group could be any carbon containing alkyl chain or aromatic ring so H goes there X goes there Let's look at examples and work them out. Now, if you have a peroxide and HBr added, where the peroxide is, say, any form of that, or it could be even just a very simple peroxide like hydrogen peroxide. In these reaction conditions, then the H should end up here, and the Br should end up there. So that's where the Br should go and that's where the H should go and you lose the double bond. So generally you're going to get this structure. But because this carbon here is asymmetric, this carbon has four different groups around it. Since it's asymmetric, we need to show stereochemistry and you're going to get an antiomas, which are these two guys here. So if the bromide approaches from the top, that's what you get. If the bromide approaches from the bottom, that's what you get. And again, um, and again, that gives you a racemic mixture, equal amounts or equal chance of so one-to-one -one mixture of those two products. None of them is major, none of them is 